I'm proud to wish you a good day. I'm Jerome Kilsmall, and I'm a storyteller, and I sing, and that's what I like to do. But mainly, I love language, especially my language. Now, my language sounds a uh, root word or sound would run through all the kingdoms. So this is a chanchegra. It means wood kettle. That's what it says. Now the important sound there is ga. All of our words are concerned with a sound and ga is a water sound. So when we hear those geese, that's ma ksicha. The ga's in there again because they love water. And we have cottonwood trees here. That's wa ga Ga's in there again because where you see cottonwood trees, there's water. So you'll never be able to not find water because if you see a cottonwood tree, over there, there's water over there. And then alongside the rivers on the edges, some places where we have a stand of swamp, we see reeds and some of them are wachanga, sweet grass. And we could smell it. We'll know it's wachanga, it, it concerns water. So ga then, uh, when we say ma the water coming down. Nanda, ju is important. That's another root word. Ju means to plant. So the water helps the plants. Oju means to plant. Woju means the garden. O woju would be the actual place of the garden. The O has a sound for a location. A location, you say O. Wo is the value, ju, of planting, and that's a garden. So we have the, uh, when this river, if it ever turns to ice, it'll be wa, uh, chaga, chaga. So the ga's in there again. Now, a bucket to haul the water is a chegra. So we're running through all the kingdoms, you know, of life with that root word. This is just one root word. And when we have the spiritual time, it involves water too. When we sun dance, we disallow ourselves the sacred water. So we'll know after four days how valuable it is and how much we need it. So when you see the dancers raise their hand, that's you gata, gazinir again, it's reaching for water. So it's really important that we remember these root words. Uh, and, and that's the way I teach. When I teach language, I teach by the root words so that ga is the outstanding feature so it's memorable that all the things that concerns water are there. Uh, a duck is a maga, that ga is there again. So these are very important. And if you're living this culture, you'll know how much of a feeling it is that is contained with that one sound. All around us is contained with that one sound. There are many other ones. I just picked Ga today because we're by the river. It's river day. I, I'm happy to be here. And, and it's always a, a good time to uh, make me think. Make me, what am I going to say? I never prepare. To tell you the truth, I never prepare for my classes. 
Because if you're a first language speaker, you should know all that is already. And I know all that is. It makes me whole. It makes all the creation attached to that one little sound to be with us. I think English is gener generic and it's separated. Like we even say deja vu. That's not English. But we know what it is. Try to say that in English. That'll take your entire paragraph. A, a whole long explanation of what that is. But when you say, I had a deja vu, <laughs> everybody knows what it is. <laughs> you didn't have to explain it so much. Well, Lakota is filled with that. Filled with those uh, meaningful sounds that carry us through every day. We are water beings. We are water beings. And so that's why we have these sounds, different ones, that pull all creation together in one being. Isn't that awesome? A people should learn Lakota, is all that I'm saying. Because then you will combine all that is in one person. I think a man was trying to say that, but he didn't speak Lakota. His name was Jesus. He tried to say that, but he doesn't speak Lakota. He should take some courses. That way he could spread the word quicker, faster, instantly, recognizable, not generic. You know, where you had to pick and scramble and, and put things together. And most of the time we lie because we have wonderful adjectives to enhance. It's telling something, you know, it probably wasn't really that great. But we use all these beautiful, it's a wonderful day. No, it isn't. It's windy. It's cold. Okay. <laughs> but we say it's wonderful because we want people to think that we are with everything, that we are wonderful after all. And so I think that's all I have to say. Otherwise, I'll talk all day long. And thank you very much for listening. Remember Ga and all the things that are concerned with the water of life. Pila Mayayapi, thank you very much.